Well, Chase, we got some bad news for you about that whole playing on Thanksgiving thing. If you haven't heard, Raven Steelers has been moved to Sunday because the ongoing outbreak with the Baltimore Ravens. We'll be talking about that plenty over the course of the next hour. Shereen Williams, Mike Florio with you here on PFTPM, live on Peacock. And Wednesdays, the day that we're also live on Sky Sports. So hello to our friends in the UK and in Ireland. We understand you're still on lockdown. We are with you in spirit, if not in body. But once the world gets back to normal, I know I'm going to England. Shereen, can we persuade you to join us when we go to England for the PFT Live tour of our friends in in uh, that great continent? I'm on country? it. Last time I went was when the Cowboys played the, the Jaguars there. Yes, I love love it. Have been multiple times. Have never been to Ireland, but but love the UK and would love to go back. Well, that's only one of the many reasons it will be great when the world is back to normal. But the clearest indication as far as the NFL is concerned that the world is not back to normal the latest postponement. And it had been several weeks since a game had been moved. And this one is the most significant game moved yet because it is the Thanksgiving night game. For the first time since 2005, there will be no NFL football at night. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow night, but I know what I'm going to be doing on Sunday, Shireen, because the game has been moved to 1.15 p.m. Eastern, NBC broadcast, nationally televised. I can't remember the specific year, but my guess is this will be the first time there's a regular season Sunday afternoon game on NBC since 1997-ish or thereabouts. So it's historic in that regard and uh, just a, you know, a, a crazy situation that, that I've had to deal with. And I, I, I was surprised initially because the NFL has been in this mode, Sharina. We've talked about it all week. Get the games in, get the games in, get the games in. But... If one of the teams is still in the midst of an outbreak that they haven't contained yet and they're not sure how deep that rabbit hole goes, you can't put that team on a plane. You can't put that team in a locker room. You can't put that team on a sideline and you ultimately can't put that team on a football field against the Pittsburgh Steelers. So for as upset as the Steelers players were, they should be grateful they didn't get subjected to a team of Ravens players, any or all of whom could be shedding virus on them tomorrow night. Mike, first of all, I think it's the right decision that the NFL made. Obviously, it's late, and I realize the Steelers are upset about it because they were going to have a four-day weekend, and guess what? Now they don't. But also, I'll say this. I'm surprised, and I'm surprised for two reasons. One, if you remember back to that 49ers-Packers games, the 49ers were not only injury decimated, but they had so many COVID cases then that – They were told, you're still playing the game. They played the game. They were awful. And I wonder if that went into the NFL's thinking, too, that the 49ers had no chance in that game. It was a horrible game to watch. The Packers dominated. They might have dominated them anyway, no question about it. But they really didn't give them a chance because of the COVID cases, and it was a horrible game. But the second reason I'm surprised that it was moved, just as you said, it's Thanksgiving night. It's huge ratings. It's everyone wants to see that game. And now we don't have that game. And I know there's a lot of disappointment that we don't have that game. And their options, frankly, were limited moving this game. We know they can't play it Saturday because of college football. Friday would have been, to me, a great decision to move to can't. Friday night. But you don't know if they're going to be cleared. Yeah, can't. you can't. can't do so it. Can't, no, you, you already can't, have a game can't. Sunday night? There, right. There's nothing. And they play again. The Ravens play again next Thursday against the Cowboys. So the, the options were limited. You either play it Thursday night or you play it Sunday as they're doing. Cannot play Friday nights until the middle of December as part of the same law that prevents the NFL from televising Saturday games between Labor Day weekend and the first weekend in December. Fridays and Saturdays are off limits to protect high school and college football. That's part of the broadcast antitrust exemption. And I doubt that they could have gotten some sort of dispensation from Congress in 48 hours. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.